Well, a new study suggests that coffee could be the secret to battling obesity. Mark Liverman explains how it could help in the fight against fat. Could coffee help fight diabetes and obesity? New research shows drinking a cup of coffee can stimulate what is known as brown fat. That's the fat in your body that keeps you warm by burning calories. Dr. David Agus is a CBS News medical contributor. Normal fat stores energy, stores calories. And brown fat has lots of mitochondria which have iron, which is why it's brown, yeah. and its purpose is to generate heat. The goal is to stimulate brown fat. Exercise stimulates brown fat, good sleep stimulates brown fat, and now we know caffeine or coffee can do the same. The study published in Scientific Reports is one of the first to be carried out in people. Previous research shows that drinking coffee may have many health benefits, including a lower risk of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and death but too much may not be a good thing. Up to three cups a day may have a health benefit, no detriment, don't do more, so more isn't better. What I also wanna push is no coffee after one or two o'clock. Caffeine's half-life is six hours. So, you know, if you have a one o'clock, still, you know, it's only gonna be half the level by seven o'clock at night. And so even if you sleep, it's not gonna be the deep restful sleep with caffeine on board. Researchers are now studying caffeine supplements to see whether the effect on brown fat is similar. Mark Liverman, CBS News, New York. Experts say people who drink more than four cups of coffee a day may want to cut back if they're suffering side effects such as headaches, insomnia, and nervousness.